Hi guys, I have had this Xbox 360 lying around for a long time so I would like to fix it today. This console is turning on but having trouble with starting up. I don't know if I can fix it but we must try anyway. This console is somehow modified for commercial use. Its DVD-ROM has been replaced with an HDD with some games installed. After separating the HDD, I will check it back. Same as before. Okay. Even fans are not running. The 12 volts power is not present on any of the inductors. That means the PSU orange light will not turn green. Let's also check it. Yes, as I predicted. In this case, a signal from the Southbridge chip is not enabling the PSU 12 volts. I must check the coupling resistance between the south bridge and the PSU enable. Here I will check the input and output of this resistance. On pressing the power button, a high level input signal from the chip is coming, but the high level output signal through the resistance is not there. Since its value is 0 ohms, I will put a jumper on it. For that, I will have to pull out the fan not a difficult job just unclip and take it out Thin tinted wire is being used to make a jumper. Simply connect both ends of the resistor to the wire. Now let's check it back again. Yes, the 12 volts in this circuit are available now. The fan is running as well. But it has several other errors. Okay, we must rectify all of its errors. As its first error was due to a resistance deterioration, now I have to check the fuses of the different stages powers. As the first error was found in a resistor, it is likely that the remaining faults will also be similar. This fuse should show a resistance of 0.3 ohms and the same here. 
but their actual values have changed considerably. I will show you the real value in another motherboard. Both of these fuses are on 0.3 ohms. So I have to change these two fuses alternately. Hopefully these two fuse resistors will come off with the help of a soldering iron. Yes, it is separated. On the first row, replace the same fuse resistor taken from other motherboard. It should be well cleaned and should not short circuit. Both of its ends should be well connected. Next, try to replace it with another one. It sucks a lot of heat. It is not happening with solar iron alone, I will have to use the heat gun. Yes, success. The second fuse is located here. Yes, I got it. It is hard to make a video during work.
Yes, fine. I will make sure to verify the values of both fuse resistors. That's fine. Let's check again and uh, hope the startup error would not happen anymore. Yes, the mod chip starts glitching now. Now I should put the fan back in its original place. But it is still not booting up. A steady green LED light. I will not give up hope at all and there is still a lot to do. This uh, error is related to RAM biases. Next is to verify the biases of these RAMs. Each RAM has a pair of bias resistances at 60 ohms. This resistance pair looks fine, other RAM pair is suspicious. One of these resistors is defective and causing malfunction. But this pair of resistance is at 60 ohm and is good. First I will try a reflow on them. In this way their values can also be restored. If I check their values, they may or may not have improved. I think the problem is not solved. One of these resistors will have to be replaced. I have found this resistor from another motherboard. Let's change it with this resistance and see.
everything seems fine now no picture has been seen on the tv so let's open it up for further investigation Further, I have to check the power rails for South Bridge and NAND chip. A perfectly clean 1.8 and 3.2 volts are required. Here is the power section for the South Bridge chip and the NAND chip. I have seen a bit of distraction in a 3.2 volts power. Because there have been failures of resistances before, check its resistance here as well. There are the fuse resistors for both power rails. Both resistances should be at 0.3 ohm not seems to be I have to verify it and change them Yes, it should be on 0.3 ohms. Let's change them first, then check again for you. This video may have helped you understand many problems in the console. So continue this learning process. And it is fixed.
Now check it with the game installed hard disk. Our hard work has paid off. Get ready for the next battle. Round one. Fight! 